SpaceX has just won a $102 million contract, which is a five-year rocket cargo program to demonstrate technologies capable of rapidly delivering military cargo or humanitarian aid anywhere on Earth using heavy rockets. This program is being led by the USAF Research Laboratory, or AFRL, and centers on the use of large commercial rockets for Department of Defense Global Logistics. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Elon Musk Evolution where we tell you all the latest news about Elon Musk and his multi-billion dollar companies. In today's video, we are going to talk about the recent deal signed between SpaceX and the Department of Defense and how Elon Musk will empower the United States Air Force through it. If you want to find out more, then stay with us until the end of the video. Also, before we start the video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell icon for more amazing videos. And let's get started. With each passing day, SpaceX is touching the heights of success, and after NASA awarded it with its new Artemis project to land astronauts on the moon, it has opened more doors for future success for the company. SpaceX has recently been awarded with the Rocket Cargo Program, and it is one of the largest programs awarded for rocket cargo. Under this program, the Department of Defense will use SpaceX rockets, specifically its Falcon 9 rocket and Super Heavy, to deliver cargo and humanitarian aid. In addition, AFRL will have access to SpaceX's commercial orbital launches and booster landings to correct key data on environment signatures and performance. SpaceX will also provide cargo bay designs and support rapid load and unload and are compatible with US Transcom intermodel containers. The contract also includes an option for a full-up demonstration of heavy cargo transport and landing. Greg Spangers, Rocket Cargo Program Manager, said in a statement to Space News that the contract formalizes a government industry partnership to help determine exactly what a rocket can achieve when used for cargo transport, what is the true capacity, speed, and cost of the integrated system. Spangers further added that delivering heavy cargo from orbit has not previously been attempted, saying it will fully stress the commercial thermal protection system, landing propulsion, and landing legs. Spangers further noted that many areas where disasters occur don't have commercial spaceports. Therefore, another main focus of this program will be to explore a wide range of novel trajectories to mitigate overflight issues. Spangers said to deal with these issues, we are exploring a broad range of landing options for austere sites, researching human factors when landing near populations, and integrating a broader range of cargo including medical supplies. Spangers also revealed that there is no specific timeline for a demonstration of this project at this point as AFRL will be leveraging several commercial demonstration launches over the next few years to collect the data. In addition, the Air Force does not drive this schedule but rather will collect data whenever SpaceX flies relevant missions. According to sources, a full-up demonstration of heavy cargo transport capability to another location on Earth could be attempted in a few years, but that has yet to be decided. Now this is a huge achievement for SpaceX, but now we are going to talk about why DOD, out of all rocket companies, selected SpaceX for this mission. Elon Musk went through many complications during the initial years of the company, as many attempts of launching and testing rockets went into flames and fiery explosions. So after many failed attempts, the company's first successful landing occurred in the year 2016 on a drone ship in the middle of the ocean. This also was not an easy task, as they failed many times before the successful sea landing. Talking about Elon Musk, one of the world's best CEOs, he has achieved what was thought to be impossible, as he is an innovative and daring person with big dreams. As we know, building rockets is not an easy job, because it takes a lot of money and engineering to give life to a single rocket, and it also comes with many risks of failures and explosions. To deal with the issue, reusing the rocket has become a new mission for Elon Musk, and the company has achieved a lot of success perfecting in this particular field of engineering and saving a lot of money. The new ideas of making space flights better and cheaper are increasing. So one of the major reasons why SpaceX was awarded this project is its new landing method. To understand the new landing concept used in Super Heavy by SpaceX, we first need to understand the Starship and its booster. SpaceX has developed a gigantic rocket booster, which will be attached to the Starship spacecraft in order to propel it to space. The Starship spacecraft and the Super Heavy booster are collectively known as the Starship, which is a fully reusable transportation system. It can carry both crew and cargo to Earth's orbit, Mars, and beyond that. With the ability to carry more than 100 metric tons, it will be one of the most amazing space vehicles ever created. 
Although bringing back boosters for a soft landing near launch pads or drone ships in the middle of the ocean has proven to be impressively successful, catching the Super Heavy after each flight will be even more impressive. To understand the concept of landing, let's see what happens after each successful landing and how long does it take for the rocket to become fully functional again. When a rocket comes back to the Earth after landing, it cannot be reused immediately and it is transported back to the base for maintenance and refurbishment of the internal components. One of the most important components of the rockets considered here are the landing legs, which are immediately maintained and replaced if needed after each landing, and it costs around $10 million. Apart from the huge cost of replacing and maintaining the legs, it also takes a lot of time, so to deal with it, the new Super Heavy will not have landing legs. To make their vision of multiple flights per day to space, they need to reuse their ships to decrease building costs. Not adding landing legs to the Super Heavy saves a lot of resources, and Musk shared his point of view, saying that the landing legs add more mass and cost to the Starship. That is why he considered removing them, and without landing legs, a rocket is ready to fly in under an hour. When Musk was asked if the decision to eliminate the landing legs was due to high stress the vehicle would experience upon landing, he replied, Legs would certainly work, but best part is no part, best step is no step. Now coming to the part where we finally catch Super Heavy. We got some updates recently about the Super Heavy, and they are quite amazing. According to reports on the new working strategy used by the company instead of using regular rocket landing method, Super Heavy will be caught using the launch tower arms. Super Heavy will also have grid fins like the Falcon 9 rockets. Four grid fins will be on top to control the orientation of the vehicle while it is returning to the atmosphere of Earth from space. And it will use its Raptor engines to perform a propulsive descent. As we've mentioned before, the boosters have no landing legs, so the booster will utilize its integrated grid fins to be caught by the launch tower. Elon Musk mentioned his plans in one of his tweets, which says, We are going to try to catch the Super Heavy booster with the launch tower arm, using the grid fins to take the load. This is truly an incredible step toward Elon Musk's plan of making life multi-planetary. The plan for catching and reusing the Super Heavy will not only help in cost reduction, but the company will be able to conduct many flights per day as it is assumed that Super Heavy will take only one hour to leave a starship and then come back to Earth and be reused. So considering these huge developments in the rocket technology of SpaceX, another major aim of this deal signed by SpaceX and the DoD is to significantly reduce the transport to 7,500 miles per hour time of 80 ton military payloads to armed forces anywhere in the world in just one hour. In addition, SpaceX is also building missile tracing satellites for the Pentagon. Everything that SpaceX is doing is mind blowing and it looks like the company is going to make the impossible possible with its new rocket technology and leave everyone behind. Sanchez also told Space News that the Air Force is looking at awarding other launch vehicle providers contracts in the future to help with the program. So this mega project is another huge milestone for SpaceX and it may also help the company come on good terms with the US officials and Democrats as this project will empower the US Air Force. And this is it for today, guys. What are your thoughts on today's video? Do you think this new project will be a huge success for SpaceX? And what does this year have in store for SpaceX? Share with us in the comments below. And thank you for watching.